Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In the last class we discussed about uh, make sales screen. In this video we will try to discuss about how to pay the bill. How to print the bill, right? So in this concept, uh, uh, I want to introduce a concept called dynamic controls. In this session I will try to cover how to generate the dynamic controls in our Windows Forms application. So here, for that what I have done means, I have taken one more button here. The text for the button I will give as print. Something like print the bill. Is it clear? So here I have taken one button control. And uh, right. And uh, when I click on the button, here I am trying to looking for some requirement. So actually whenever we are trying to work with Windows Forms application, here let us assume that uh, this is my windows form right let us assume this is my windows form and actually i think you learned coordinate geometry in in plus two like that there here whenever you're trying to work with windows forms here here you need to concentrate on concept let us assume that this is my x-axis i'm trying to concentrate on the coordinate geometry here just let us assume this is my x-axis that and this is y-axis this is x-axis and this is y-axis right here at x-axis the uh, here the center point is zero so this is zero and here i will write something like 100 and here the position is 200 and here the position is 300 similarly here also I will declare something like 100 and here the position is 200 and here the position is 300 that is y axis and this is x axis. Now here at the position of 100 and 100 x axis 100 and y axis 100 here I want to create one label control is it clear. So I want to create one label control at x axis 100 and y axis what 100. And similarly, I want to create one more label control at x axis 100, y axis is what? Some 200 here I will try to declare. And I want to create one more control, label control at x axis 100 and y axis 300. Is it clear? So here, if you observe clearly, the x axis position is not changing, only the y axis position is changing. It is incrementing by 100 times. Similarly, at x axis 200 and y axis 100. I want to create one more label at x axis 200 and y axis 200 i want to create one more label at x axis 200 y axis 300 i want to create one more label is it clear so this is the initial internal concept of how the windows form is creating i will apply the same concept in order to generate the bill here so already written the code for that just try to understand within the bill.cs here i have taken one label generally and here i have taken one button called print button and here i have taken one more label and i dragged one print dialog box control from dialog controls under uh, toolbox here you can see within your toolbox here you can say some dialog controls are there within that you can find uh, printing below that you can send print dialog box right so now here whenever user clicks on this uh, print uh, print button it has to navigate to the next form that is build.cs right uh, sorry uh, so for that i have written the code i will stop the timer timer one dot enabled is equals to false because otherwise uh, the timer will still rotate i don't want to enable that one and i'll create an object for build b is equals to new build off now within the build.cs here i written some code if you try to observe so here in my requirement let us see here debug I'll try to log in with username Anil and password is Anil. Click on sign in. Click on make sales. And now the employee is making the sales. Pizza, he is selecting veg pizza, two veg pizzas. Click on continue. And um, within this, I'm storing the uh, press of five. So the veg pizza details are displaying chicken pizza. Here I'll give three. And uh, chicken pizzas are also displaying here. This is the individual uh, bill transaction. Now I want to store these details. 
I want to store veg pizza, chicken pizza. I want to store 60, 80. I want to store 2 and 3 quantity amount I want to store. For that, uh, I will take one array list. I will take four array lists here. One array list to store the item name, one array list to store price, one array list to store quantity, and one array list to store amount collection. Is it clear? You can take arrays or array list or generics, whatever it may be. But here I am doing with array list. So here if you observe clearly, array list is a class. Is it clear? Which is available under the namespace using system.collections, which can accept any type of data. So collections can accept when to go for collections. If you want to perform operations on group of objects, then we'll try to go for what? Collections. The size of array is fixed, but the size of array list is not fixed. And uh, array, we cannot increase or decrease the size of the array depending on the requirement, but uh, we can increase or decrease the size of the array list. It is a global array. Arrays, uh, we cannot insert or remove the items depending on the requirement, but when you work with array list, we can insert uh, we can insert or remove the item at a specific position depending on the requirement. So here I create an object for array list class. Uh, so array list class name, object name is equal to new class name of three array list I declared. I make these three array list as static. And um, here, uh, in order to add the items in the array list, there is one method called add method. So here double click on continue button and here I used the add method here. If you observe clearly, item name dot add off. CB item name dot text. And whenever user clicks on the add button, I want to store that item details in the array list. Item name. If you want, I will show you here. Here. So here I will try to open my form. And here you see there are three items I added. And each and time when I try to add the item, uh, all the items are stored in where? within your array list if you want i will keep the breakpoint and i will show you here you see i will add one more item here i will try to select uh, um, pizza or burger i will select and here i will select uh, chicken burger quantity 3 click on continue so here if you press f11 you see i am adding the items in the array list the items are for price is 4 and um, quantity price item name everything i'm adding and um, here if you observe clearly total sales means the customer has done four sales so here that is important here so i declared one variable called total sales this was done in the previous example only but i make this variable as small modification i make it as public static and the array list also i make a static variable because in order to maintain the values from one form to another form in Windows Forms application, you can maintain either by using properties or by using constructors or by using some static variables, anything. Uh, where in ASP.NET you have to use some state management techniques, there is no issue here. With state management techniques, directly you can maintain the values. So here I will try to press F5 and I uh, will click on generate bill. So anyway, the bill will be generated, no doubt. Now when I click on print button, I want to navigate to the another form. So for that we have written the code within the make sales button one and button three underscore click saying that creating an object for bill. And within the bill.cs, uh, here we are retrieving the value item name as we declared as what uh, um, static uh, error list. And so you can access the static members by using what static variable you can access by using the class name. So my class name is make sales. So make sales dot item name. This is of array list type. So I store this values in where array list. So here also quantity price. So here I bought the quantity as well as price. And now uh, total sales also I stored in one variable that is I. Here I declared one variable called int i. And uh, here I declared three arrays. One is of these three arrays are of what type? Label type. Li name, l quantity, l price. Now here I will uh, create an object for the array. The length of the array is based on the total sales. So new label of i, new quantity as well as price. Now I want to rotate the loop how many times based on the total sales. Here the total sales is 4. So I want to rotate the loop 4 times. So initially j is 0, j less than 4. Yes. So here j means always the index of the array start from what? 0. So is equals to I create one label at the array of 0. And the text for the label is veg pizza. And here I am adding that label to the controls. That is the current 
class current class is nothing but form so how to add the control to the current class this dot control set add of li name of i li name of i sorry li name of j li name of j means which control label control we are adding to the form similarly we are incrementing a a is 130 so here how it is working let us check so here how it is working means say 100 is x axis position and uh, here a is nothing but how much initially 100 so at the position of x axis 100 and y axis 100 i want to create one label here is it that is my requirement similarly at the position of what uh, similarly we are incrementing the a now a is how much 100 plus 30 130 at x axis 100 and y axis 130 here i want to create one more label and again i want to increment and x axis 100 y axis 160 i want to create one more label as the number of sales is four the loop is rotated four times and four labels are created and in these four labels we are displaying what uh, item name similarly uh, if you observe here 200 comma b at x axis 200 y axis 100 i want to create one more label to display the quantity that is how here we are concentrating here you observe the loop is rotating and similarly i written three for loops one for what item name one for what quantity one for what uh, price is it clear press f5 and here you check the output veg pizza chicken pizza sprite chicken burger this is the quantity this is the price and if you want to display the total amount also you can uh, display if you want i will add that one so here i added the total amount in uh, make sales screen if you observe clearly i will try to highlight this and after calculating the total bill i added one uh, total bill also within my item dot bill so here i declared one more error list for uh, item total bill and here within the bill dot cs i created one more if you observe clearly i declared four for loops one for item name one for what quantity one for what uh, price one for uh, total bill is it clear when i click on button here i want to give the printout so i dragged and dropped the print dialog box and here double click on the print button print dialog one dot show dialog right here i will try to click on make sales i'll try to do the fresh sales here veg pizza and uh, here i will try to collect quantity to total amount 120 continue and here i will select chicken pizza here i will give three continue and here i will give something like burger here i will give veg burger and here i will give two and continue click on generate bill click on print press f5 i hope you understood when i click on print if printer is there the printout also will come if you want i'll give this code here i will uh, paste the code so that you can understand so within the notepad i will try to paste here you can see you can pause the video and check the code whenever it is required right or i will try to post this code in the below comment box also there you can check if you want this same code i hope everyone understood right similarly here i will try to give this code also make sales screen also i will try to give if you want you can check in the comments box i will uh, upload the total code for make sales as well as um, bill right for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel mostly in the next video i will try to upload how to perform editing operations and deleting operations crud operations within the data grid view control right thank you have a nice day